the 125 that I decorated for Leroy last week. And everything's kind of puffed up and ready to show off his wings. I'm going to show you an overall view. My philosophy is if you can count how many corals you have in your tank, you don't have enough. So I like my coral tank to look just like a reef. And in the reef, the animals are all close together and full of life. In captivity, you learn which ones like to be next to each other and which ones don't. Here's an overall view of the 125. When the other lights are out, so you don't see the reflection from the other lights, this gives you a much better picture of what it looks like. This is a tank that I decorated a week ago for Leroy. My decorating jobs never stop. It's an ongoing process. I have to go in here and propagate corals, make sure that other corals aren't touching, stinging each other, but everybody's happy. saltwater mollies that I do in captivity. Up here, you'll see a forest of zinnias. Of course, these are my favorite and I love them. And I have about 12 different kinds. I have a silver tip, the Portland Pulsar. We did a speech in Portland and we took back a zinnia I didn't have and called it the Portland Pulsar. The Smithsonian came from their exhibit when they went to shut down their live reef. And then there's a belly zinnia. Pom pom zinnia, silver tip, and I'll try and show those off. Get me to get me a pointer. That would really be helpful. This green guy up here, that's a cap melon. We have green ones and blue ones, and we actively propagate that one very successfully. Right below it, you'll see an orange gorgonian. And that orange gorgonian has beautiful little white polyps that come out when it's feeding. whitish pinkish colored coral is a German Amphilia, as another one that we're successfully propagating. Over here, you see yellow star polyps, and those are growing for us. And my mollies, forgot to say mollies. Okay, gold. Um, the yellow star polyps, and we're, since we've been feeding the tanks very actively, oh, Penelope, um, they've been multiplying. Galaxia, and I've been propagating that one. You just cut it, glue it, cut it, glue it, cut it, glue it. The more you cut it and glue it, the more it grows. Sorry for all my fish. Right here is a pink monopora. Long, tall, and I call that snake coral. 
and I can feel a splash of color. Here's a red brain coral. And I bet you can guess this thing yet. Come on, let's go! What is it? You got it? Silver tip. Good. Disc coral, and it's act actively propagating those as well. 